My name is Bob Briggs. I uh, reside here in Memphis, and I am lucky enough to be able to have a CJ-1, and uh, it's equipped with the Tamarack winglets, and I'm a participant in compassionate flying, and I am uh, associated with 10 different compassionate uh, organizations, um, primarily angel flights. I've always been a transportation, even as a kid, I was a transportation uh, uh, aficionado. I, uh, I uh, rode the bus lines of my city. I knew every bus stop in the entire city of Des Moines. Uh, I used to, my father used to take uh, my brother and I out to the, watch trains switch. So we used to do all that kind of monkey motion. And then the airplanes, we would go out to the airport and watch the Air National Guard, the old fighters do their thing. And uh, so I've always had a pension for transportation as, as such. Uh, I was taken up in my first little airplane by my uncle at a very young age of like 12 or 13. I was in the back seat, but I, I got my first taste of general aviation. And uh, I uh, started, uh, I, had, I was given my 21st birthday. I was given uh, a small token of cash to be able to utilize the best I could and go as far as I could for private pilot training. And I've never stopped. I do hold the Guinness World Book record of 109 type ratings. Uh, why did I do that? I, I didn't start out to, to, to actually do a feat, something like that. It just sort of grew <laughs> along the way. Um, uh, learning is my passion. Uh, most of the airplanes and helicopters that I've had a chance to fly and, and acquire the, the ratings with, I've, I've never flown again. Um, it's just as it was sort of fun to do. It was a learning experience for me, and as I've described myself over the years, I'm a 50-year uh, student pilot, and it's been it's been a, it's been wonderful to be able to get your hands on these machines and these marvelous uh, uh, flying mechanisms, and, and at least say I did that one time. That was fun. As far as the active winglets are concerned, I was lucky enough to find this airplane with the active winglets already installed. The ride for the passengers is far superior. Uh, any rough air, uh, the loading and unloading of the wing itself by the winglets, the active part of the winglets, makes it much more comfortable for them. Um, I can climb to altitude faster than the airplane ever was capable of doing so, and therefore for me is the savings. I can go straight to altitude, assuming my weight permits. I can have less fuel flow burns. Uh, this is a non-paid um, volunteerism. So by saving 15 to 30 gallons uh, per trip, it, it all comes back and it's, it's savings for me because it's all uh, gifted to the, to the patients and to the angel flight organizations anyway with no, with no reimbursement. Um, I've had other pilots rid riding with me and they will attest to uh, in bumpy conditions things that, woo, I thought we were going to get kicked around a little bit more than we were. and. They're, they're surprised with the smoothness of, of the ride. Not that I do short fields. No, I have my own personal uh, minimum of 4,000 foot runways, dry. Um, but the comfort level of being able to approach those airports at slower speeds with uh, more determination, at closer to the exact speeds of being able uh, to uh, bring the airplane to a, a smooth stop and also leaving from the Denver area airports in the middle of summer and being able to climb and, and take a full bag of gas that uh, would not be permissible without the winglets having been installed. Well, I moved to a, a, a give back portion of my life now. Uh, my brother at age 16 died of leukemia. So my focus has been on uh, people with the cancer uh, difficulties and we're located here in Memphis, and it's a 450 mile trip on down to Houston. And MD Anderson is one of our, my biggest drop off points at the Houston Hobby Airport. And they go to MD Anderson, and there's a lot of people that transit Memphis to go do so. Even though St. Jude's is here, MD Anderson for adults, patients specifically, focus more uh, on, on their needs and wants. Um, it's a give back for me. Uh, and it's a, uh, it's a payback for uh, my brother um, who miraculously would be alive and in remission today with today's standards versus what uh, 
of what existed medically back when he perished, unfortunately, in 1968. Good morning. How are you? Uh, finer than frogs hair. Good. Well, I'm sure you don't know me, Admiral Jip Godwin, CEO and the President of Mercy Medical Angels. Uh, and uh, I wanted to join in in the uh, congratulations uh, as well. You do great work. Uh, and uh, I am pleased to let you know that uh, you have again uh, won the uh, Pilot of the Year Award. Uh, and so it's uh, twice in a row, a uh, big deal. Uh, it doesn't happen very often. And I'm really glad that uh, we've had the opportunity to do this. So I looked at all the airplanes that uh, you've flown and all the things that you've done along the way. I thought I had test pilots, you know, that worked with me that had a lot of flights and uh, various different airplanes, but you got a list of 109 that uh, water the eyes. <laughs> well, it's, uh... It's certainly been a cottage industry, that's for sure, but it's been a joy to be able to do it and learn along the way. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very kindly, Admiral. Thank you. All right, have a great day. I shall. We're very moved every day, you know, with what you and the other volunteer pilots do. It's just very humbling. You know, we coordinate it and we get the intake, but what you guys do, taking them up there and, you know, it's such a hard time for them, so your your service means a lot to us well once again thank That's you very good. kindly and they express themselves in similar fashion without holding back and uh, i i know it i know it does mean a great deal to them as well yes and you get to see it you know right there we're coordinating everything offline but mm -hmm. you're there in in the plane with them so it's very very special um position to be in so mm -hmm. We very much appreciate it. Well, thank you for your trust and allowing me to do so. And I take uh, a great deal of uh, pride in the uh, safe transport, uh, yeah. uh, and especially in a vehicle that I'm able to, to do it in, equipped as it yeah. is. And I thank you so much. I'm coming up on 19,000 flight hours, accumulated over 50 years, and 109 different airplane types. And I can tell you, Tamarack takes you further. <laughs>